So instead, you can sit there. I mean, posturing right now. And T1 now playing this very cautiously. They're on pretty even footing for this team fight, though. Actually, I think that T1's even favored. Could happen. They get the double knockout into the equalizer. The cast as well for the burst. Hana is just going for the assassination attempt, and it's going to work out as flawless. As a stopwatch, really nice item, but take a look. At the A drops, he's full health here, trying to dunk him down, but again, the stopwatch is going to be able to stop it here, and everybody on the side of ABK is going way too low. Good scatter of the week, but it will not save your life, even that stopwatch. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Gonna go over to Teddy and C1, they get the engage. Funny, they're still down in gold after all of that, but they are gonna get so much more added to that. As they're gonna pick up the Infernal, the bottom turret, perhaps. Staying around the bottom side, here's Baker. And T1 able to dial it around. Turn the page. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, sorry. Well, yeah, what? We need what to, do you need me to see? Well, I, we, we told the viewers what would happen uh, at the dragon fight, and you end up seeing the Grogan Cat plus the Equalizer just coming out, and Kana just getting straight onto Hybrid. Ripping him apart. Now pay attention here. Baker producing the healing on the corrupting potion. <laughs> I'm taking. <laughs> really taking him out of the fight. Wow. <laughs> Before the rest of the members of ABK end up getting dropped down and then T1 turns their attention you know, to the Infernal Dragon. Morello with the Equalizer on the MF. It probably cut down on the bloodline. Okay, so... That was definitely the reason why MF died in that fight. But if it had been with Leandris, he probably would have just died from the equalizer. <laughs> anyway. Um, and then Baker would have walked into the fight with madness. Yeah. And, oh, you know, that wow. That would have been a pretty good thing. But in the end, T1 now comfortably back into the lead as Kaney ended up investing 1,400 gold into the Morello when this is going to be a down period of the game. So, sometimes actually getting Morello or getting items that aren't super efficient in later stages can be correct if there is something really crucial that's about to happen. But... Well, you got it after the dragon fight. You got it after the dragon fight, which is why it's inefficient. And so, the Morello doesn't really do all that much against C1's team composition. Even though there's two heals, that's just one summoner spell that... Hey, Grogus, look at it that way. W. All right, thanks, so. Yeah, he's got some legion. You want to cut that down if possible. T1 now, though, in such a commanding position now. Leandre's probably going to be completed here for Faker in coming moments. And he's got red buff. That's uh, also one thing you have to look at. He actually hit someone there. Trying to zone amounts of this vision, essentially. They're just cutting down everything that they possibly can. Moving on over here is Aksu. Thinking about going for a bit of a flank. He wants to just be content to actually keep farming, but if APK wants to do this... Yeah, they're engaging big time, but the TP comes out here. Effort able to deny with a stopwatch. Your gates will be shut down to enter a full-fledged team ramp. Yeah. Well. Yeah, T1 now. Okay, oh. well. He ends up hitting them, but doesn't actually do much of anything. Honestly, I, I really do wonder what is going on here. As... KRAM is occurring at a very bizarre time. Yeah, the Korean style KRAM is not really as exciting as other regions. They just look at each other from across the trenches. They don't take any shots. Well, we are back in a, l a little bit of a wall state. Everyone just needs to recall, farm up their items. Now, I just want to let you know that the walk is never returns in two days.
Oh. What season, season is that? Twelve? Season ten B. Oh. What? Ten B. They break it up into two parts. Why didn't they just call it eleven? Well, I guess ten A, ten B. Mid season finale, yeah. yeah. Okay. So the Walking Dead really just it it sort of fell off a cliff yeah. a couple of seasons ago. But Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I mean, yeah. is he's carrying the show. Really? Okay, he's the only reason to tune in. Anymore. Okay. Just want to let you know that. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I've never seen the show. I think I saw episode one. And what? Uh, that was about it. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, don't laugh okay. at the guy who's never seen Game of Thrones, okay? <laughs> like, you're not allowed to laugh at me. So we're not having this discussion again. <laughs> Ugh. You know who could really pop off in this game? If you want to end up coming back, is Teddy. Yeah. He's about to get that blade, and he's really close to three items already. Two zero one. Doing a good job of farming. And the next Infernal Dragon is up. And remember, he's he was, oh, he's oh, able to nice. actually he's secret here. He's totally fine. Lands that, and he kills him all alone. Teddy just. Taking out one member by himself, Sindra trying to do that to him, but it's not going to work out. D1 have been able to turn this game around. They're going to shut down three members just like that as the Infernal does come alive. D1 now, they're just going to be able to pick up this Infernal relatively easily. As this game is really falling apart here for APK. Even if the gold grab leads you to believe that they're just within 600, 700 gold of each other, you're going to acknowledge that the Mountain Drake is adding a lot of value, it's giving a lot of stats, the Double Infernal is doing a lot as well. In addition to the items on the side of APK aren't the most ideal, and it, it's really working against them. When you consider the even putting that they should be on, and now T1 just sees the Baron. So... Take a look at this one more time, Teddy. Just going forward on the secret. Wallace decides that he's gonna go in here. And the equalizer is doing so much. Applying not only Leandre's, but also the curse tail of the Morella and Avacon. <laughs> Speaking of a curse tail, how about one on five? <laughs> hey, you're trying to run. He actually healed. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, yeah, no. I don't know. That's, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Fumble's stream was hilarious. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, you can see the trade here. Uh, taking out tier 2 mid and tier 2 bot is going to be much better than Faker Guy. They need to... Well, I'll tell you about that later. As, okay, another turret ends up getting raised. They need to wait for a long stay before that happens. Yeah, yeah. As... And Pearl Gray is going to be up in three and a half minutes. And both of these teams should just end up posturing here. It looks like Banshee's Veil is going to be the next item for Kaney. And I'm not really sure why he would go Banshee's here. Mostly because the Ezreal in the Grogus are able to proc it and get it off the Syndra so easily. And so even though it is magic resistance and the enemy team does have four sources of it, it just feels like Zanya's would probably be a lot more effective, or just accepting that if you get hit, you're gonna die anyway. So, just end up picking up another damage item. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded um, a death cap next. Yeah, death, death cap next on Cinder would probably end up being fine here. Leandre's would also be fine. Well, I, you know, I can never trust you because you're biased. As the yeah, Leandre yeah. salesman. <laughs> True. I know you're, All trying, you're just trying to sell me so. It doesn't have Runic or Luton's Echo, so the props and having the dots go off on people. Oh man, Teddy is just, he's a one man army right now. He lands a Q in secret and basically falls over by the weight of it. And the game, just in, the, in that one fight around the dragon, yeah. that's all it took. And then it was like over, just like that. SKT or one Sweet for you guys. Uh, still getting it. Still getting used to it. They might just win here. They're just pushing. And APK have offered no resistance. Falling over like a house of cards. 
looks like finally they're attempting to clear some waves after losing their two inhibitors. Evil's sticking around and oh boy. That's a huge equalizer taking for so much on Secret AP. That might just be the push they needed to take out another turret here. And why? Oh, what? <laughs> well, that's gonna be all for you, I suppose. Okay, Teddy ends up getting hit, but I think they're just gonna keep going. I can't believe he died that fast. Okay. Well, they're gonna attempt to put up a resistance here, but they will be not. Everybody is just styling on them now. Baker's not gonna die. And that is gonna be the end of the game. They don't waste any time with that one. 31 and a half minutes, they're gonna take out Hybrid right before the end. GG, game number one.